I've been doing this for more than 50 years now, so you can't, you can't stop. It's part of my life or my, my habit. So maybe even if I want to retire, maybe I can't. I started getting interested in linguistics or language in general when I was a middle um, school student. I went to a library uh, to find uh, some English composition book and accidentally hit upon a book written by uh, late Professor Kyosuke Kindaichi on Sahalin Ainu. And I got, got uh, me very much interested in, in how to describe you know, uh, underdescribed languages, and that uh, was the start of it. Next, I got interested in English. So I studied English very, very hard. And when I uh, uh, entered uh, uh, the university, Kyoto University, uh, I uh, sort of decided to study uh, English linguistics. But at that time, Kyoto university, university didn't have any English linguistics or department. So I decided to enter a linguistics department instead. My interest in Japanese or Japanese linguistics are started when I, was, uh, when I tried to write my graduation thesis on um, Japanese compound verbs. So that was, uh, I think, the start of uh, my interest in Japanese linguistics or linguistics in general. My advisors, I had three advisors uh, at, when I was uh, a student at Kyoto University, and the, the two, Two of them were specialists, very famous professors uh, in Japanese linguistics, Professor, uh, Professor Watanabe, Minoru Watanabe, and Professor uh, Atsuyoshi Sakakura. Well, I got affiliated uh, to, to Ninja. Um, Seriously, in back back in nine, I mean, like ten years ago, when I was asked to uh, do some research as a as a visiting professor on on uh, the Ikema dialects of Miyako, I was um, at that time doing some field work and uh, <clears throat> tried to archive. Uh, my recordings and everything uh, into our digital museum. And Professor uh, Kageyama asked me to uh, finish those, uh, you know, work on those uh, digital archives or digital muse museums, as it was called, uh, and uh, sort of donated, donated it to, to Ninja. And, that uh, was the start of it. And I worked as a visiting professor like, like 10 years, I think. And uh, in the course of it, I studied uh, commuting to uh, Ninjo uh, once uh, a month or, or once in two months. And when uh, Professor Kagoyama uh, retired after um, eight years, uh, you know, Professor, Professor Skubozono and uh, uh, Noda asked me to, uh, to be a, a candidate for the director generalship and accepted it. And I was elected uh, four years ago to be, uh, three years ago, to be uh, the director general. There was, uh, that's, uh, that's how I started working here. 
most of my work uh, consists of, of reading documents and uh, use those hankus to finish off what, has, what have been decided upon. And uh, other things will be to uh, uh, attend meetings. Usually there are three to 10 meetings a day. That's uh, that usual you know, routine. But sometimes, especially on, on Thursdays and uh, Fridays, I have uh, time to myself. And, and when I can find time, I you know, write my papers uh, and uh, do some research. But uh, that uh, doesn't, doesn't happen very often. So my uh, time uh, is uh, usually dedicated to working as director general rather than as a researcher. It's a 90% administration job, 10% researcher's job. I started out as a syntactician. I, and uh, at the very first, um, I did some research in um, Manchu Tsungus, you know, one of the dead languages, uh, written Manchu. But I stopped doing that when I was uh, at the master's level. I tried to write a, a master thesis on uh, Manchu or written Manchu, but it didn't uh, succeed. No. Didn't, we didn't have any uh, corpora or digital uh, materials at that time. And uh, I had some difficulty in reading uh, Russian and sometimes German. So uh, it didn't work very well at the time. And I also, side by side, I was studying Korean at that time, but uh, I didn't have any interest in, in, in pursuing Korean at that time uh, to be able to write uh, a master's thesis. I thought I would graduate. Uh, I, I'm in Finnish uh, master's course and, and, and go up to uh, the doctor's level. So I wrote uh, my master's thesis in Japanese uh, local nouns or, or locational nouns. And that was my master thesis. And after that, I didn't get back uh, to uh, Manchu or Korean, uh, and, but stu studied, uh, studied Japanese uh, syntax, generative grammar, and uh, generative phonology. Uh, phonology at the elementary level, I'm afraid. But, and um, I didn't have a, I didn't uh, succeed in getting a job in Japan. So uh, one of my friends uh, introduced me to a, a professor uh, in uh, Korea. And uh, I uh, went there to teach Japanese and linguistics at uh, the University of Tongguk. And at uh, that time, I st studied uh, uh, teaching Japanese as a, as a foreign language. Also uh, taught myself Korean. So that became uh, part of uh, my career after that. So I studied Manchu, uh, Korean, Japanese, Japanese as a, uh, as a foreign language. And I, when I got a job teaching Japanese at, uh, at uh, Kobe University, that was my uh, specialty. I mean, teaching Japanese as a foreign language. And I did that for eight years. And during that, uh, the course of uh, my uh, teaching at uh, Kobe University, uh, I mainly studied Japanese as a foreign language. And I, well, I sort of, 
changed my specialties from syntax to uh, discourse and pragmatics because that uh, they were more I thought that they were more useful than syntax uh, in teaching Japanese as a foreign language. So I studied uh, discourse and pragmatics, and that became my specialty. And after I got a job at uh, Kyushu University, I uh, got back to uh, syntax and uh, semantics, and that's what I'm doing. And I started uh, studying uh, doing research in endangered language or endangered languages in the Ryukyus when I was 56. Yeah, when I was 56, I studied uh, uh, my research in uh, Ikema Ryukyu and Ikema Miyakuan, one of the Ryukyuan languages. I studied, as, as I was saying, I studied my uh, interest in language uh, uh, by, you know, from reading uh, an essay by Kyosuke Kindaichi on uh, Sahalin Ainu, right? And uh, especially the field work that he conducted uh, back then. So I had in my head that I have to study um, uh, endangered languages somewhere, but I didn't have a chance to uh, until I studied this research in Ikema Haryukyu, and I'm into it. And side by side by side by side, I'm I'm also doing uh, syntax and semantics. So I'm a, now a specialist in in, in, in Ikema Haryukyu and um, syntax and semantics uh, with the focus on Japanese. I haven't decided yet. I got retired when I was 65. That was five years ago. And this is sort of my second uh, career, right? So, um, in the back of my head, I, 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 this feeling that I want to stop uh, doing research, but uh, I've been doing this for more than 50 years now, so you can't, you can't stop. It's part of my life or my, my habit, so maybe even if I want to retire, maybe I can't. The, the only advice I can give is probably uh, do what you want to do. You know? don't, don't listen to your advisors. If, if the advice does not, uh, uh, you cannot accept those, the, the advice, uh, the particular advice that your advisor might give. So do what uh, you want to do. But the difficult thing is to find out what you really want to do, right? Um, I'm very happy doing what I'm doing, but uh, I think it took me like 30 to 40 years uh, before I can find what I'm doing is what I want, I've uh, wanted to do. So it takes a lot of time uh, for some students uh, but uh, but uh, my advice is to uh, try to find what you really want to do and do uh, just that. And to foreign uh, non-native um, students, I don't know, study Japanese before you get into uh, uh, Japanese linguistics. Uh, you have to know a lot of Japanese uh, to be able to do even syntax or semantics. And that's that. And, and uh, use uh, the, your knowledge of uh, your native language, your mother tongue, uh, to uh, analyze uh, the Japanese language. So use your native language. You study your native language. 
very, very uh, deeply, very closely before or at the same time as uh, studying uh, Japanese. Ninjo is very much interested in hiring um, scholars from abroad, non-native, I mean, non-Japanese uh, scholars. But uh, you have, I'm afraid you have to be able to uh, speak or write uh, Japanese to work uh, here. Uh, that's uh, the, the hurdle to be, to be uh, overcome. And, and that applies to uh, other, uh, I mean, other universities level uh, institutes. Too, I think. So you have to be able to speak Japanese at a certain, probably uh, a quite advanced level. Sometimes if you are teaching Japanese or, or your native language, you might be able to uh, get a job teaching uh, those languages. But uh, that uh, would be a little bit Hard and uh, make uh, people around you uh, in a very uh, difficult uh, condition because they have to work for you uh, to help uh, your Japanese, your communication uh, with uh, office people and other people, I mean students too. So you have to be able to uh, speak and, and read and write of course, listen to Japanese uh, to be able to uh, work uh, in Japan.